two, one. And liftoff of the Falcon 9 and DART on NASA's first planetary defense test to intentionally crash into an asteroid. So we're getting a nice view of the onboard cameras from the Falcon 9. So you can see it looking towards the first, the, the after end of the first stage. And you can see those engines coming to life. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. And Falcon 9 will be reaching max Q in just seconds, the moment of peak mechanical stress on the rocket. And, and here in the mission data center, we can feel the rumble from the Falcon 9, and it's always am amazing to hear and feel. Power and telemetry nominal. Everything looks good right now. It's really shaking the building where we are. Vehicle supersonic. Just heard that call out for supersonic. Going faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And we've just passed Max Q, that moment uh, of peak mechanical stress on Falcon 9. And everything's looking good. We're still getting some nice views of the onboard Falcon 9 camera. And uh, we should be coming up on main engine shut off here in about a minute. So far, everything's looking good. Uh, all reports are nominal. Invec chill has started. We just heard the call off Invec chill, so that's where it's getting ready to prepare the uh, second stage for engine ignition. Now that main engine cutoff, or MECO, we expect at T plus 2 minutes 30 seconds, and then almost immediately after that, the first and second stage of Falcon 9 will separate, followed by uh, the stage 2 first ignition, and then shortly thereafter, the jettison fairing at about T plus 3 minutes 8 seconds. So far, nominal liftoff. And as you notice, the, 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 the plume or the, the flame coming from the engines have gotten bigger. That means it's high in the atmosphere where the atmosphere isn't compressing the, the flames coming from the launch vehicle. Miko. Okay, we just heard that. Preparation confirmed. In recognition. So we just got confirmation of Miko stage separation and stage two ignition. And so this is a view of the stage one Falcon 9 booster. You can see those uh, hypersonic grid fins uh, beginning to extend. The, the shot is a little bit dark, but you can see them uh, extended out from the base. Bearing separation confirmed of the booster, and we just heard confirmation that uh, the jettison fairing is complete. And those hypersonic grid fins help guide the Falcon 9 booster uh, back down towards Earth. Again, it's heading towards the, of course, I still love you, uh, drone ship. Stage two on nominal trajectory. So we just heard everything's looking good for stage two. You heard the positive confirmation of fairing jettison. And um, the Falcon 9 booster will be coming back. They'll be doing two burns. They'll be doing a boost back burn to get it closer to the, of course, I still love you, that's sitting about 400 miles south of where we are off the coast of Baja, California. And then it'll do another burn for when it's coming in for the landing. We're at T plus four minutes, six seconds, and so far, uh, nominal ascent of the DART mission, NASA's first planetary defense test. Falcon 9 booster will begin its re-entry burn in a little over three minutes. So, so far, everything's looking great, and that's exactly what we wanted to hear. It was, it was awesome to hear it and feel the launch while we're sitting here in the mission data center. Yeah, that rumble never gets old. Yeah. And hard to believe in about 11 months from now that that DART spacecraft the size of a vending machine is mm -hmm. going to Midpoint guidance. crash head-on into Dimorphos at the speed of 15,000 miles per hour. Yeah, and 
as we were talking about before, how fast is 15,000 miles an hour? I mean, it's like going from New York City to Los Angeles in less than a blink of an eye. So faster than you could blink, you'd travel across the country. So right now we're getting a good video. Um, that's looking at the interstage. We're obviously having some technical issues with some of our video feeds. H2 on nominal trajectory. Trying to get those feeds, uh, get those kinks worked out so we can get those views back for you. Uh, but in the meantime, we will continue to talk you through everything that we're hearing. Uh, we can't see those views, but we are hearing that everything is nominal and on track. Yeah. And as we and, and as you heard before, we it may be difficult sometimes to get the video from the stage one landing. Um, it, it's coming in very fast, and it sometimes it's hard to to get that video. Yeah, that's a great point. It's okay. We can see, uh, and we see a view there. It's just uh, it's just very dark out. <laughs> Okay, so look at we're getting some good video. Stage one, FTS is safe. Stage one, entry burn startup. All right. All right, so we got stage one coming in. Now you've got a better look at those grid fins. It's always awesome, amazing to see stage one coming back in for a landing. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. All right. So okay, we've got a beautiful shot of stage two now. Stage two, FTS is safe. And we're, what we're looking at is the nozzle of stage two, and you see it glowing hot. Loss of signal. Cook. At this point in time, everything's looking nominal. And what you're seeing is that uh, MVAC engine on the Falcon 9 second stage glowing, shut down. glowing red hot. We just heard uh, that engine shut down. So stage two just completed its first burn of the first of two burns. So the first burn of second stage is helping to circularize the orbit after it's orbit the launch position. vehicle has gotten off of stage one, landing burn the surface of the Earth. And then you would, and then this, there's a second burn that will be coming up. But right now, we are getting the landing burn from stage one. It's coming in for its landing. Looks like we're getting some good video. Stage one, landing leg deployed. You, you can see this. You can see the drone ship. The landing legs are out. All right, so we're back. We're getting another view of stage two mm -hmm. during its coast. And we just heard positive confirmation of stage one landing. Yeah, it's tricky to uh, maintain that feed from the, dro the drone ship uh, at the moment of landing, but we do have confirmation that uh, the first stage booster has landed uh, safely. And six of South America. MVAC ignition. And we just got confirmation of MVAC ignition. And you can see the video there. You can see the engine coming to life. And so we are, uh, right now, DART is near the southern tip of Chile, uh, near the capital city of the area's southernmost region. And so this next burn uh, lasts just under a minute. 
and then we expect to hear a uh, second cutoff at T plus 29 minutes, 27 seconds. So in just a few uh, seconds now, we can see that MVAC engine glowing red hot during the second burn. Everything's looking good. Invac shutdown. And we just got confirmation of engine shutdown. All right, so that was a that was a pretty quick burn. Yeah, yeah, and all that, and that was the just a short burn needed to give it that velocity so it can head towards the Didymo system. Okay, so now we are in a coast phase again. Nominal uh, escape burn. Okay, so confirmation everything nominal. Uh, there is a view of the of course I still love you uh, drone ship with the the booster uh, safely landed there that is the third landing of this booster so congratulations to SpaceX on uh, yet another one in the meantime uh, DART is in a coast phase with the second stage for uh, about another 26 minutes or so and uh, during this coast phase, the spacecraft will fly over uh, the South Pole. Uh, and by the time of spacecraft separation at uh, roughly T plus 55, 56 minutes, um, DART will be uh, near the southern tip of Madagascar. Uh, so we'll be continuing to keep an ear on things. Uh, so far, this has been uh, a beautiful uh, start to DART's uh, journey. It's got 11 months, roughly, to make it to... Uh, the Didymos system, where it will impact Dimorphos uh, in late September or early October of 2022.